Hey everybody, Chuck Fulkerson here. I want to talk about some of the things like outcomes to trades. And when we talk about outcomes to trades, the thing I'm going to talk about is there's the, that there's essentially five outcomes to any trade. A big winner, which everybody loves, right? A small winner. Break even. Small loser. Big loser. These are your five basic outcomes, right? Big winner, big loser, small winner, small loser, break even. I'm going to remove one. I don't think that break evens exist. And the reason I don't think they exist is because you lose opportunity cost, you lose time cost, right? And when you lose your opportunities and your time, what happens is, is that you don't really have these break evens. Your break evens are, are really small losers, right? So what's the psyche of most investors? Well, the psyche of most investors is, is that we really want to get profits, right? You, you, I've heard the, the phrase, you never go broke taking a profit. Well, here's the problem with that concept. If you never go broke taking a profit, what happens is you take too many small winners, but you don't ever let your small winners turn into big winners. By not having your small winners turn into big winners, what happens is your small losers and your small winners eventually cancel each other out, right? And if, you're, and if they cancel each other out, you're not really getting anywhere in your account. Now, the other side, is that there's one piece, the most important thing that we need to remember in trading is to remove one thing. And that's a simple three-letter word. Ego. We need to remove the ego that we have in our trades because the ego says, I want to be right. Well, I'd rather make money than be right. And, and when you say, I want to be right, what that means is that you take a small loser and you hold on to it because you think it'll be back instead of following the rules. And so a small loser then becomes a big loser. So here's really ultimately what we want to what we want to do is number one most importantly eliminate the big losers. How do I eliminate the big losers? Very simple: stop losses. Just have a plan before you enter into a position and follow those plans. Now I say simple that it's stop losses. It can be more than stop losses because you could theoretically have something that gaps through a stop loss. You could have some sort of a shock news event. But in most cases, the stop loss will be the thing that is the most easily able to prevent a small loser from turning into a big loser. So the first thing you should do is eliminate the big losers. By eliminating the big losers, what you now have is small winners and small losers and big winners. And the big winners are what really pro propels your account. Now, the key is, is that you have to have a plan ahead of time to allow these to turn into these. So eliminate the ego to allow your small losers to stay small and not become big losers. And then also make sure that you have a plan for every investment in your portfolio to allow those small winners to continue to run into big winners. Let the, big, let the small winners and the small losers cancel each other out and it's the big winners that propel your account.